This week, it's a tribute to my pop-up who recently passed away. We showcase a few of his last hunts and share some great memories of pop-up. It is November 10th. Oh my dad, here comes a bug. Many kids these days are too busy playing video games and texting on cell phones to worry about the great outdoors. But I know a couple of kids that well, figured out how to enjoy both. The fact of the matter is, growing up out there is fun, exciting, and adventurous. If you don't believe me, take a look for yourself. Growing up, I was blessed to have gotten to know my great-grandfather. It made me realize that I wish grandpas never died. All the money in the world can never buy this. You know, Corey, all the money in the world can never buy that. All the money in the world will never buy this. Pop, pop. <laughs> oh, man. We did it, baby. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Have fun. Every year this gets harder and harder. Now I strap me in. Love that Corey can put up with me. And I'm just gonna hang out with him as long as he likes me. You have no idea how much I want to do this. This is probably gonna be my last hunt. Turkey hunting with my grandson. Every time I get together with him, I have the most wonderful hunt. He's been so good to me, and I look so forward to this. This could be my last hunt because things are really happening. But you gotta think positive, and that's what I do. The doctor put me in oxygen 24 hours, and it's it's getting tough for me. You having fun? Oh my God, this is Corey. I really am enjoying myself. Something terrible. <laughs> Hey, I can shoot you. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you too. Thank Corey for everything he does for me. It means an awful lot to me. Man, him and his kids, they, I just love that. Oh, there's a little girl. I'm Bye, gonna, Baba. I'm going to shoot you a bunch of pigs. Okay. Love you. Bye, ya. Baba. <laughs> love you. Bye. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> Every time they shoot something. Oh man, I love every minute of it. Woody! Yes. Yeah, it's Woody Jr. Guess what? You got one! Yep! I really love I love you kids. You know you're blessed with this hunting. I'm going hunting with my great grandfather, my papa. I'm so excited. Pop Pop hasn't shot a deer for quite a while, because I'm getting too old and I have too many too many things wrong with me. <laughs> and uh, this really means a lot. Just hunting with you and your daddy mean an awful lot to me. Pop Pop loved to rifle hunt. On our last hunt together, we hunted the Penns Woods and we had a great time. We may not have filled a tag, but I'll never forget that day. So tired. Post officer is getting ready. He just got out of the shower. So we're going to head out and see if we can get anything. What I know you can't get in here. What are your thoughts about today? Oh my God, Tammy. I'm so excited. This is like going to first day when I was 12 years old. We had such a great time. We saw a few deer and a couple of bald eagles. We laughed, we cried, and that was my last hunt with Pop Up. We're ready to go. We had a good morning. We seen two deer. They were in line with the farm and uh, and uh, couldn't shoot, but they were too little anyhow, two little ones. And we see, just seen two bald eagles. Now that made my day. Brody and I were very lucky to have pop-up in our lives. We sure do miss him. I will never forget that day. 
I will never forget driving up the driveway, seeing Brody help pop up with his walker. Good. Get him in the truck. Good, Mama. Tell my mom, we we're going hunting. Train. I'll never forget helping him into the blind. I'll never forget the smiles. I'll never forget the laughs. I'll never forget that day. Oh, Jesus. I'll never forget my boy being in that blind and helping Pop Pop and helping me with the camera. And I will never forget looking out and seeing that big buck coming out into the food plot. 20 deer and no buck. We had deer all the way around the blind. We had a great night, but not one had antlers. So two nights ago, we saw a bunch of bucks. So we're hoping tonight we can get a good combination of the two and we can get the old boy his uh, number 71 and get early season uh, and hopefully get a buck here in early season. So you excited, Brody? Do you wish pop up luck? I had a couple of does come out earlier. It's about quarter after six prime time. Hopefully one of these bucks will come in tonight to give pop up an opportunity. Now, Pop Pop was a rifle hunter, so when this deer came out, I wanted it to turn broadside, but Pop Pop had other plans. Me and Brody get out of the blind, walk away, and what the GoPro captured is something that I am forever grateful for. Well, Brody and I go out, we find blood everywhere. And we start tracking the deer, and the deer gets up in front of us and takes off. This has been a very emotional evening. Um, just to give you a rundown, Pop-Up hit the deer. Very emotional. I yelled at him quite a bit, because I didn't like the shot, but um, he had that five blade. Um, Brody and I went over, found the arrow, and then we walked about, I don't know, 20 yards, and there was so much blood. We backed out, we got lights, we went back in. Well. We backed out after we they found all the blood. They just walked away and found this bottle. I'm like, Dad, there's a drip of blood on this bottle. And then we kept looking. There was a pile of blood right there. Yeah. So we got Luke, and we went in there. Right. We had about 10 minutes of legal shooting time. It was still kind of dark. He was going with his cell phone light, and it got up in front of us, and we decided to back out. So um, we'll see what happens. I'm pretty excited for pop up. My heart's racing. So. Yes, we are. What do you think? I think we should back out for a little while. I mean, it's getting it's getting a little heavier, but it's still kind of kind of spotty. So even though it's picking up, I think we should back out for maybe an hour, hour and a half. Yep. We'll come back and find him. The guys realized that the deer couldn't have gone far, but to be safe, they backed out. So we go back to the blind and share the news with Pop Pop. Yeah, I know. And I wanted to shoot him in the shoulder when he had his head down. I went from the neck. Yeah, I know what you did. <laughs> You're a gun guy. I'm a rifleman. Jesus. Oh my. We've already went down and saw there's a ton of blood. 
Yeah. Uh, then he, he's gonna go beat on but, Yeah, so there's a lot of blood. That interlock five blade might be the ticket. Yeah. I could see I hit it. That's what I said to you. You thought I missed it. Yeah, you were, you hit almost a little left of center of the neck and it looks like it went in and right out. Well, I, I uh, aimed for the neck, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, well, I have no doubt you aimed at the neck. My grandfather was so happy that day. He forgot about his troubles breathing. He forgot about all the pain. And I bet you he could have ran a marathon as happy as he was when he put his hands on those antlers. Oh, thank God for this one, boy. I hit him where I wanted to hit him. I shot him in the neck and he come out the shoulder and they couldn't find blood right away. With the holes that this made, it as big as a fire hydrant, for God's sakes. It should have really showed through blood right away. I can't believe he didn't throw blood right away. Man, he was up. Then he come back at the woods and there was blood all over the place. Man, everywhere they went, they found blood. Put your hand on my hand right here. Well, just like my pop-up did to my dad, and just like my dad did to me, it was time to teach Brody how to gut out a deer with his outdoor edge knife and influence my legacy the same way I was influenced all these years. What a wonderful hunt. This is the best hunt I've ever had in my life. And I shot 71 deer now. That was Pop-Pop's last hunt. I'll never forget the good times, never forget the bad times. And thank you for everything you did for my kids, myself, the family, and everyone at home watching you right now. Who's a better shot, Corey or Pop Pop? Well, I think I am with the rifle. I never beat him with the bow because I can't pull it back, but the crossbow I might give him trouble because I does a scope on it and I'm a scope man. Man, you yeah. give it a rifle in pop up's hand and I'll make it bark. You sure do. Well, I love you, pop up. Yeah. And a big buck is standing in front of me. I check the horns out, make sure it's legal, and then I get on the vital spot and boom, down he goes. I don't fool her on. These guys that pull her on drive me crazy. You never touched a camera before. <laughs> You'll be sideways. When will you have your own TV show? Never. This is strictly for my grandson. I, I will never have that. I'm too old for that. I'm just staying. I just love him taking me along hunting. I really, really enjoy that. Never take someone for granted. Always keep them close to your heart. Because one day, you just never know. Growing Up Out There is powered by Interlock Broadheads, American Made, and Deadly by Design, Luminox, Light em Up, Mike's Archery, AMS Bowfishing, Honda Marine, and Honda Generators, Uberex Air Guns, Black Widow Deer Lures, Scent Thief, Outdoor Edge Knives and Tools, Rackroids. Growing Up Out There is also proud to support like I Why I Bowfish. Hunting fish with a bow. Non-stop action, never slow. By day, by night, great shots, great fights. With family, with friends, trash talk never ends. And kids, they love it. If they miss, think nothing of it. By foot, by boat, by board or canoe. How you do it is up to you. Aim low, shoot fast. Watch your shadow, watch the grass. Shoot carp, raise or guard. Shoot them close, shoot them far. Stout arrow, barb tip. Retrieve a reel, let it rip. Bow fishing. Give it a shot.